Did you know that a Filipino martial artist defeated the world's best martial artist? He actually defeated three world champions. No one could imagine that the world's best could be defeated by a Filipino martial artist, but it's true. In a world dominated by the most skilled martial artists, no one expected an underdog from the Philippines to rise to the challenge. But against all expectations, a Filipino martial artist faced off with the world's best, and what happened next surprised everyone. This is the tale of an unlikely victory where talent, tactics, and pure determination created a moment no one anticipated. He's a key figure in the martial arts world, both in the Philippines and internationally. Over the years, he has shown a strong dedication to preserving and promoting Filipino martial arts. His career is built on a deep knowledge of various martial arts styles, which he has skillfully combined into his own system. A mix of traditional Filipino techniques and modern combat methods, this unique approach honors the past while embracing new ideas for self-defense. Filipino martial arts, also known as Arnes, Eskurima, or Kali, is a diverse and traditional combat system from the Philippines. These martial arts are well known for their practical and adaptable approach to self-defense, focusing on the use of sticks, knives, and other bladed weapons, as well as hand-to-hand -hand techniques. While Arnes, Eskurima, and Kali are often used interchangeably, each has its own distinct features and regional differences. The main ideas behind Filipino martial arts include flexibility and efficiency. Practitioners learn to use various weapons and switch easily between armed and unarmed combat. This ability to adapt is a key aspect of Filipino martial arts, which teaches using whatever tools are available in a situation. Training usually involves practicing a series of drills and patterns known as formulas, which help students build coordination, timing, and quick reflexes. These drills teach not just how to handle weapons and fight, but also how to understand angles, distance, and leverage. Filipino martial arts also cover grappling, striking, and joint locks making them complete systems for self-defense. Filipino martial arts are a significant part of the Philippines' culture and history, combining local fighting styles with influences from Spanish colonization. Over centuries, the art has kept its traditional techniques while also including modern practices. Today, Filipino martial arts are practiced worldwide, appreciated for their real-world self-defense applications and tactical thinking. They offer a unique approach to martial arts training, blending historical traditions with practical effectiveness, whether for self-defense, fitness, or cultural interest. Filipino martial arts offer a lively and engaging experience for practitioners of all levels. But here's where his story gets really interesting. In 1973, Ramos Sr. went to Hong Kong, not for martial arts, but to work as a musician. While he was there, a chance meeting led him to cross paths with Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee is a name that goes far beyond the world of martial arts, representing a legacy of creativity, discipline, and cultural influence. Born on November 27, 1940, in San Francisco, and raised in Hong Kong, Lee's early life was deeply connected to martial arts tradition. His journey in martial arts started with Wing Chun, under the guidance of the legendary Ip Man. This traditional Chinese martial arts background later expanded as Lee explored different fighting styles. His constant curiosity and dissatisfaction with the limits of any one style led him to create his own martial philosophy. But Bruce Lee was more than just a martial artist, he was also a philosopher, actor, and a cultural bridge 
between East and West. His entry into Hollywood was groundbreaking as he broke through racial barriers to become one of the first Asian actors to gain significant fame in American cinema. Lee's impact went far beyond the big screen. He was a forward thinker who saw martial arts as more than just physical fighting. It was a journey of personal growth, self-discovery, and overcoming mental and physical limits. His writing, speeches, and interviews showed a deep thinker who believed in the unity of mind, body, and spirit, making his philosophy just as important as his physical skills. Sadly, Bruce Lee's life was cut short at the age of 32 when he passed away on July 20th, 1973. Despite his brief life, he made a lasting impact on the world. His legacy continues to inspire martial artists, actors, and people from all walks of life. Lee's influence is seen not only in the martial arts community, but also in popular culture where his ideas about self-expression, freedom, and following one's true path continue to resonate. Today, Bruce Lee stands as a symbol of excellence, a cultural icon whose impact goes beyond time and place. His life is proof of the power of determination, creativity, and the belief that one person can truly make a difference in the world. Ramos Sr. met Bruce Lee in a dinner with Lee's friends, where one of Lee's close companions, Unicorn Chan, mentioned that Ramos was a martial artist. Curious, Bruce Lee invited Ramos to a sparring session at his gym. At first, Ramos Sr. was reluctant, out of respect for Lee, but Lee insisted. Eventually, Ramos agreed, and what happened next became legendary. As the fight began, Ramos, using his unique blend of Filipino martial art and his own techniques managed to defeat Bruce Lee. Ramos then stopped the fight, not out of pride, but out of respect for Lee, recognizing Lee's legendary status. Surprisingly, this did not create any hostility between them. Instead, it led to a friendship built on a mutual respect. Bruce Lee impressed by Ramos's skill, later offered him a role in his famous movie, Enter the Dragon. But Ramos learned he would be playing a villain. He declined the offer, not wanting to take on a role that did not fit his values. But the story does not end there. A few months later, Bruce Lee reached out to Ramos again, this time offering him a lead role in a new movie called the Rhythm Man and the Dragon. This project was meant to highlight their friendship and shared love for martial arts. Unfortunately, this collaboration never came to be, as Bruce Lee tragically passed away. The story of Ramos Sr. and Bruce Lee is not just about an extraordinary fight. It's a story of respect, mutual admiration. It highlights Ramos's remarkable journey and his significant role not just in Filipino martial arts, but in the wider martial arts world, where his legacy continues to inspire others.